Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Pub Close Podcast. We have some new guests. Welcome back, Tyler. Hello. Uh, we have Dean. Hello. We have Sebastian. Hey. And we have Sarah. Hi. And yeah, they're newcomers. I have to say that they're going to stay here for the entire time. And this is also going to be our man on the computer pretty soon. At least I hope. My pleasure. You have <laughs> fun. Would you like to take it away? Yeah. So the topic we have decided for today is going to be friend groups and how easily they can be created and just as quickly dissipate. So I think to best understand this, we need to get context on how we have all met. So I'm going to hand it off to Sarah to first explain how she met me and Ren. Yeah, so I was never, like, in the same friend group ever. Like, I had, n- had no connections with these guys, but I played volleyball with a girl that they went to school with, and we were really, really close. So one you day... Names. Oh, okay. Her name is Grace. And so me and her were, like, best friends, and we hung out all the time. And eventually, she thought it was time to introduce me to... We say, like, our friends, Christian friends, because that's where they went to school but I went, oh wait, should I not Thanks say? for doxing us. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, it's, you can mention schools. It's just a little bit embarrassing. We already said we went to Kenya. I, I don't care. But that's in the old. That's the old one. We're not using that one. It's a secret. It's okay. okay. We, I don't know. I didn't say any schools anyway. So that's how we became fr- like friends. Is she introduced me to them. And the first time I met them was at her birthday party or 4th well, of July? it was just 4th of July. Was it 4th of July? She had her birthday on 4th of July, like... Right. At the end of our middle school year, anyway. and I, th- I believe I mentioned this in the previous podcast, is that by the time our middle school career, or whatever it's called, had ended, uh, me, Grace, Dean, Tyler, well, oh, but... essentially we had that group kind of going on, and when Grace was in seventh grade, she uh, became, seventh grade? What was it? We became friends in seventh grade. They became friends in seventh grade because they were both in volleyball. That's what we and so they became real tight, and then eventually, when the Fourth of July came around, of I believe twenty seventeen, they're like, ah, you know, let's br- she, let's bring Sarah, and then she jumped in. She basically kind of meshed. I was really quiet though when I first met you guys. You, I was really yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, listen. You talked to me. Yeah, it's because I talked to you on the you, phone. Yeah, yeah, one we were on time. Yeah. That. that was a pretty sick time, even if it was once. Yeah, I remember I talk, called you at ice cream at the beach, and it was just me and Grace, and she told me that we smelled like each other. We did, or we still do. Oh, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I don't. I don't uh, remember talking to you though. That first. Yeah, that I don't remember time. meeting you for the first time. Oh. I remember being. I remember being really quiet at that yeah. Fourth of July though. And... Yeah. No. So that sprouted into where we are now, and we can. What else should we talk about before that? Before we get here. I mean, that's how it started. That's how she joined in. I mean, later yeah. on, Dean, Dean has been here since almost the beginning too. And then I just became friends with you. Like, it stopped having to, like, be me with Grace. It just yeah. started to be me. Yeah. I mean, honestly, there's a hundred different thousand ways of becoming a friend in a group that you didn't have any association with. Mm-hmm. Like, no, most of the time, friends become friends by either A, a bunch of strangers just all in a new place and they're forced to make friends. get social with each other. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Or if, you know, mutual connections. Grace thought you were a perfect fit for us. Mm-hmm. And it clearly worked. Yeah, it and worked. I booted out someone else that could have been in the group, and then she <laughs> <All right>. hated <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's kind of funny. A, a, a closer friendship was built, a, a closer bond was built by the dislike of a certain, of a di- separate person. But we won't get into that. <gasps> oh, yeah. like, We're not getting into that. I might cut that, that out. Right. Well, anyways, later in my high school, okay, we'll, we'll reiterate this. So basically, I go to OSHA. Sebastian here goes to OSHA. Yep. Dean goes to your Belinda. Big YL, gang gang. She, I goes go to to, she goes to Canyon, and he goes to Elder Rock. So, Armstrong. throughout my Philip Conservatory, we both actually met around, well, we got to know each other sophomore year, but yeah. then junior year is when we... Yeah, we really kicked off there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you can say that. Yeah. You can say that, yeah. But Absolutely. eventually, it's the same thing with Sarah. I was like, you know what? I think Sebastian would be a great mix with us. And eventually, I brought you in, and he uh, met Grace and I. No, yeah, you brought some others too, but I, I no, beat no, no. them. Well, here's the I thing. I guess I was we, better than them. I would, <laughs> I, I would say that, okay, so you're still comfortable with me. And I was like, all right, you and Grace, I think, will get along Bruh, just well. Comfortable? I basically became you. <laughs> Good point. Great he point. does have a point there. Yeah, he does have a point. He did nah, absorb. Just by. kidding. <laughs> anyway, 
Yeah, so we'll run it back. I mean, you guys can tell any story you want that. Well, let's let's talk about how story? we smell like each other, and that's how Grace met you. I can also chime in on that one. Sure. Okay. Well, you know the funny thing is in our middle school, or well, Dean and I were in the same history class, second period. Mr. Yeah. Zaz, after Mr. he ditched me in well, every single period. Is because well, is because. <laughs> no. Okay. Context. That was eighth grade, right? Yes. Eighth grade. Me and Ren, it was great. We've been friends in like sixth grade, I think, was when it like was actually started being friends instead of just knowing each other. Eighth eighth grade, we we had like five out of like six periods together, and then he's like six out of seven. Six out of seven. Sorry. And he's like, man, I really want this Spanish class. That's one period over. I'm like, oh. and he's well, like, Insta- but I have to change. Every single one of our people. Well, it's because I liked Rebecca, so I needed. And plus, that was my home class. Yes. That was that. Like, I had that class mm-hmm. in seventh grade, and I was like, I need to get in. You that switched class. to class to just be with Rebecca. Mm. I mean, I mean, see, wait, I'm, wait, I'm wait, glad. Wait. wait. Oh my God! This is eighth grade. You were the first. Was, sit. That's, oh. so that's I was the first. Sit. Sit. I'm, look, I'm glad. So first recorded. Sit. I'm glad that I was in middle school at that time because if it was today, then I definitely would. have called like a simp. Well, simp niche. So, so he simped and lost all the classes with me. No, no, no. I didn't lose lose? all the classes with you, basically. P.E. Thank goodness. one class of them left. Yeah, P.E. The the rest of it, it made up for it because I met Grace. Grace was friends with Sarah. Grace, Dean, and I kind of absorbed and that became a group. And And then it spread wide stereo. Beautifully. And that's where we get to now group that would be eighth grade summer going into freshman year where we met sarah and that group which is i would, <clears throat> i think i can confidently say no longer exists as it did back then and i think we could get into that a little bit and no. how that didn't work that's that's i know that's, this is gonna be char- a bit of a rough one into difficult territory that sucks that we're not like adults and we can just like bash on all the high school kids, you know? Like I mean, let me to, think, let me think. We have to still um, see those people. I'm trying to think how to word this where we don't. No hard feelings towards everyone, it just didn't work. Yeah. All right, well. Exactly, no hard feelings. A big, you know, honestly, I feel like this is how, how it happens with a lot of people. You know, you start out a big, great group of people that, yes, this is going you to work. You think that you're going to be friends forever. Yes, but that, that's exactly. A, that, that's a case for everyone, which... I mean, for us, I guess we just didn't look out for it. Yeah, yeah. I had... We had no idea it was coming. Just one day... It just kind of started happening. But People just stopped getting along. It was natural. Yeah. To say the least. And it's I, just separation. I would rather group. have had it happen that way than... Hating each other's guts. Than, yeah. Well... Because <laughs> we're not one for big, like, drama and confrontation. That's, you know, like... Not a fan a of A soap that. opera. I'm not a fan of that person. I don't think you no. are anyone. Either. No, Dean, you love drama, right? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> that was a joke. I okay. don't really care. I know, Sebastian. What do you observe? Because I, cause, since you're the newcomer, I don't know how it looks. Look like. How does it look from the outside? Outside coming in. Well. What was the question again? <laughs> I, like, how do you, so I can? How do you <laughs> think about? How do you going? perceive our group from yeah, the rise? Because like, you're the newest comer. You joined oh, super there's duper so much. Late. You uh well there's it's so weird because there's so many different people. Everyone's so different. So it's like as a whole, it's like a fun time, but a little overwhelming. Yeah, so it's it's a lot to take in, yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah. That, that thing, makes sense. I mean how like out of ten, how many times do you find us talking about things that you weren't there for? Like middle school things or elementary school things? Uh yeah, I I would say like, it is weird to hear, like, a bunch of different conversations about things I don't know any context for or don't know anything about that. Yeah. So, I don't know. But it's, it's interesting to hear them, so. It's cool stories, so, yeah. So, uh, it's, cause it's hard to think because sometimes when you're with the same group of people you are 24-7, and then that newcomer comes in. For my eyes, it's like you've been here for a while. You just assume mm-hmm. they understand what you're talking yeah. about. Half yeah, that time. happened to me when we first started to become friends. Because uh, you talk about friend funny. stuff. Because cause... you were like, uh, uh, yeah. but then three and a half years later, now you're like, 
guys, do you remember when this happened? In the yeah, movie? Uh, first I had because I had no memories with you guys, but now we have so many. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, you guys always used to talk about like friends stuff when I was there, and I'd always be like, and then all of you would just oh, say like, knows. oh, like we forgot that you didn't go to our school just because I was so integrated in like your group. Yeah, we just assumed you'd understand everything that we were talking about. But I mean, that's 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 the process. Like yeah. Dean, honestly, you. Were we technically your first group in middle school because you never really had like a solidified group? Well, so do you Mr. Ray Frantes, <laughs> I transferred, as they would say in high school, uh, from this place called Fairmont. In high school? No, in, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was in middle school. Or not middle school, I was like, I don't know. You were yeah, in elementary school. school. Elementary school, yes. Yeah. And in second grade, or in third, like when I was in first grade, my sister went a year uh, before me to friends and she really liked it. So my parents took me out. And in third grade, I arrived at friends. I knew like, I knew like two people uh, for the first two years. And then in like fifth grade, I was in the same class with Ren and a few of the Ex members of the <laughs> <laughs> if that's a way to put it, I guess yeah. Ex members, that's how we can yes. say it. And uh, I honestly, I, I just so a friend. Uh, me, we hit it off in the same teachers class. First, uh, Miss D Goto, and then Mr. Doctor Burton. Mr. Doctor Burton. <laughs> yeah, or Doctor yeah. Burton. Doctor Burton. Yeah, it's called. And we really hit it off. We hung out a few times, and then he introduced me to the one of the original time, or not, never mind, uh, to Ren and Tyler and a few others, and uh, they were really cool. And then eighth grade, I really felt like I became closer with everyone else, and then kind of kept going from there, so, yeah. Yeah. You know what happens? It's like the transitional friend, basically. We have those usually. M Mother Kalantes. It's Mother Kalantes. Hi, Mother Kalantes. Do you, do you think she'll make me food? Wait, wait. She always Ren, brings me food. It's great. Ren, do you think your mother can make pork chops and mashed potatoes? Do you food? not see she's in? Are you like? Right she's gonna. Why go would she make pork chops? <laughs> <laughs> he asked. He's white. He's, he lives in Newport. This is our residential. No, one time friend. she made pork chops and mashed potatoes, and it was very good. Yeah, but it wasn't. They, yes. She wasn't like, oh my god, Sebastian's coming over. I'm gonna make pork chops <laughs> and mashed potatoes. I wish she was. I wish. Here's the. She made thing. me tacos once. I, I think really this good. is interesting to bring up. Sebastian became rich boy to maybe a little bit more humbler, but and still rich, but more humble, normal boy, who's still rich. Yeah. Yeah. The first time it's I met weird. you, you were wearing. He dripped too Gucci hard. And yeah, first Versace time I met you was not. So, here's the thing. Pulling out hundreds out of his. That is the old the, movie. Versace uh, this guy, all right. Louis Vuitton. Yeah, first time in high school, I believe it was like orientation. You know, people do dumb, you know, people just have dumb fun, freshmen, being freshmen. You know, we get over our like conservatory, essentially what we can call like our club. Or we're, we're basically the band kids, but we're film kids. But that can apply to everyone because everyone's in their own clique. But for assigned uh, classes. And so, Niche. you know, we're playing musical chairs or whatnot because freshman icebreakers be like. And then I, I see this douchebag sitting in the background oh. listening to Gucci Gang, <laughs> wearing his <laughs> Louis Vuitton shoes and his Louis Vuitton belt, and he's sitting back with his iPhone 10 X Pro Max X Pro XXXL Pro XLS. <laughs> I... It's weird because when I first met him, he was like that for a solid point in time. And I, at many points in time, I was actually uncomfortable talking to you because, and I felt like <laughs> the only thing I could mention was talking about your money or your, your status. Cause it was a good icebreaker and it's kind of your thing that people tease you about. Like it's when true. people first meet you, you're a rich boy. No, so, no sometimes I do embrace it. It is a good thing to embrace sometimes to start. You to break ice. Yeah, you come in with the flats, but then yeah. as you get to yeah, the yeah, yeah, you, you come and go, you hey guys, humble. want some hundreds? And you come in, you're like, nah, I'm actually kind of chill though. Yeah. <laughs> Which I, Surprise. I, I'm not as much as a dick as I say I am. <laughs> yeah. I, think yeah. I, I honestly think it's better because I, I didn't like you at first, but it's okay. Because I'd rather not like you first and get to like you rather than, wow, I love this person. And then they become like a cockhead or something. Yeah. 
Yeah. And the thing is, like, what do you think encourages your transition? Because do you think it's true what everyone says? Because when you ha- start hanging out with me, Mr. Poor Boy or whatever. <laughs> us middle class well, folks. Us <laughs> middle class folks. Gang like, gang. would you say that was the catalyst for it? Or do you think it just happened naturally? Um, would, would I think it happened naturally because I, I can't really think of what really sparked the transition of what moved me over to the group. In like a different group, group I had wise, before. But you wise. Yeah. Just like, I'm do you think inside. hanging out with us made your personality change yeah. to what it I, is I, I would say I definitely changed. Yes. My personality. And, I don't know. I mean, I feel different like deep down inside you're still... Still but yeah, but deep down inside, but you still have a heart of gold, a heart of he's, light coin. Yes. He's a still heart rich. Of, heart of, <laughs> did you bite? A heart, heart of silver. Because that's what you like coin. In. Regardless of the clothing, he still has hundreds in his wallet, even if it is from a thrift store. <laughs> even when he nonchalantly <laughs> pulls them out by accident. In front of my, the, my friends he met that one time, I, we were giving him something, and he was like, oh, let me pay for this. And he pulled out his Louis, his Louis Vuitton wallet and just accidentally just flashed so many hundreds. And my friend just looked at him and just looked at me, and they were just like, get a load of this guy. I was just sitting there. I was like, Sebastian, what are you doing? Here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I had a lot of money on me that, at that point. But you but, always do. You always but here's do. the thing. I was not planning on buying that at that point, at that t- at that time. So I just happened to have money on me to spend. So mm-hmm. I was like, let me pull it out. But it's not like easy for me to grab because I have like, a weird wallet. So I was just, know, like, you just got to gra- pull everything out at once. You got to grab the lesser bills. You got to fish for <laughs> the hundreds. Yeah. I had a fish for the 20s. <laughs> oh my god it's like it's like a 5 out of 20 chance you know those 15 other $100 bills it's just so hard to find the 20 out of them. yeah too hard. But it's all, it's nah but I'm bad. kidding I'm not actually like yeah. this okay what he says yeah see this what I'm he's kidding saying. I'm kidding see, no guys no, I'm kidding he's come kidding. on see this is the impression this is the impression we got at least I got the first time meeting him so this is this is basically your first impression of this guy but trust me, you get to know him. He's. A lot I don't even remember the first time I met Sebastian. Oh, well, he just kind of. We, we showed, met him at. It was the first, the first time you no, the first no, time you met oh. was at. Okay, so yeah, was, we've was only known his, him since my. Was that in December? Oh my god! All right, here's was the, yeah. it from his my conservatory party? went to New Year's Knott's Berry Farm, 2019. That, oh, yeah. But we didn't. Oh, know. that was. The and then I brought him, Dean, and Grace. And they just kind of hit it off with whoever they could have hit it off with. I don't remember you two. They, they, sat, on ex- they sat on accelerator. Together. I hit off with this uh, very cool dude named the Darren Asian. He's really cool. Yeah, he he was... He, the uh, dude. Yeah, speaking of... Hey, Darren. Hey, Darren. Hi, Darren. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. You still want to hang out after you... Glasses Darren, well, how'd your glasses break on my electric bike? <laughs> it's a funny that story. A I'll, funny tell, I'll tell it for him. His he, dad's just like, you know what? Let's make a fun investment. Buy $1,600 worth of electric bikes. <laughs> and he still wears clothes from a thrift store. No, it's, it's good. It's, 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 a, it's a good thing. You're... <laughs> Surprise. I'm actually rich as hell. <laughs> you, you, he's got, he's pull got up a pair of dickies and you wear a Stussy hat and call yourself a middle class. No, leader. here's the thing. I love this hat. Like, I have five hats at my house. And, they're, like, they're all they're all good. They do with their job. Run back down. This one. This one's great. It feels good. It looks good. And I just love the hat. This man loves his hat. You heard it here, folks. I Sebastian actually, loves. I have a cooler hat. This dizzy hat. It is this cool Patagonia one? Figure it out. So you you could is just that got Patagonia. Yeah, it's not a sponsor. It, don't worry. It's just. I noticed hat. it. it ha- it's, I like that hat. Did you get it like Michigan? I, like I actually got it from Dix. Who are you showing it to? <laughs> that Dix has know. Patagonia. Are you serious? Yeah. Or no, it just has like little hats and stuff. You can and show like, it to them. They oh. want to see it. They have Patagonia? Yeah, they have like Columbia too. I got a cool. But Columbia is like the little brother dumbed down version. Yeah, of yeah. Face. I don't know any of these brands. Is it they, it's okay, like basically they don't they don't middle class brands that, you know, like your average construction worker would need to wear. Like, yeah, the ones oh, that Patagonia are to, like, is so expensive. Patagonia That's... was originally just like. 
people that go to the woods or people that wanted to be oh. more conscious about what their clothes are made out of. Now it's becoming the trend to wear like Carhartt or Dickies or... That's like the Doc Martens. It's they like the Doc, yeah, Doc Martens, they used to be like a ugly people's shoe. Now Those look like yeah. the hit with hard toe top. shoes. Like the construction Thank you. Part. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Anyway. Uh, one of my friends, not these people, I don't know, um, his girlfriend got Doc Martens and he yelled at him, her for buying them because he said they look so ugly. I mean, they don't I, look ugly. I, I, guy, I think not, they look guys good. don't like them. Girls I, have, I like them. It's just, my I, girlfriend wears them. I, I think they look good. I, I, but I think most, most, most of the time, yeah, tall yeah. people can wear dogs. <laughs> I mean, I would if I were to get dogs, I'd wear like a short one with not a very large sole like that. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing That's platform. like an inch yeah. and a half sole. That is huge. Yeah, they're platform shoes. Exactly. It's not my style. But, you know, I, I mean, the guys don't really wear them. I just wear them to be taller. Mm-hmm. All right, but you're already, you're already five nine. I mean, these make me like 5'11", 6'11". 5'11"? So short of me, that's fine. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, you said people in your blend the be like, if you're not six foot or higher, you don't meet me on my list. I'm sorry. That's just your blend of people. Your blend of people. We're, we're so judgy because we can see ten, everyone's right? top of their heads. We <laughs> get a full profile. You can see what their scalp looks like. <laughs> Yes, we judge them. How tall is 5'11"? I'm tall. tall One? Yes. My grandpa was like 6'5". I just have bad jeans. Yeah, my grandpa on my My dad's side was like 6'5". I got that. Except I'm not 6'5", obviously. What, are you like 6'3"? Two. He makes it up. Wait, Dean, how tall are you then? Like 6'3", 2". He's above 2. You're taller than me. And it's not just the mullet. I, I... you I'm look like, like six three. Yeah, you gotta six, be four th- in shoes. You gotta yeah, be. Yeah, you're definitely six four in shoes. In shoes, yeah. Which yes. is crazy. Absolutely. Because I'm what, like five seven or something? But the thing is being Asian is kind of a yeah. it's kind of a disadvantage. Yeah. You're, half, you're, half, you're half white. So you yeah. got that. My mom's gene. full Asian, she's taller than but me. There's there's like that one out of one hundred chance that you get the tall Asian gene. Yeah. Sauce yeah. Asian invasion. Yeah, basically. Speaking of Asian invasion. Oh, oh okay. Oh my god. So now to transition. now to maybe bring it back a little bit. We'll talk about uh my uh so I did not start see I was friends with Ren, but we were in a group of all boys. Yes. Which was you honestly it's a sausage party. Yes, <laughs> it was a sausage party by Seth Rogen, the twenty sixteen movie. Um it was it was a pretty it was getting kind of tiresome. I don't know what it was. I mean, it's just boys. It's just... Girl creepy. Basically, yeah. It just got really boring playing video games all the time and not doing anything. So, Ren was hanging out with Grace, which I talked about... Well, actually, I didn't talk about. You know, we can just... just You can cut that out. So, So, you know, whatever. Anyway, so... Uh, get, Ren, started, on the Ren started hanging out with Grace, which we talked about in the last podcast, how she would, like, oh. kidnap him. So we were talking, yeah. So, so Ren... <laughs> so Ren starts hanging out with Grace. I think, I think, yeah, that was you. You hung out with them, too, like, in those first few weeks. And then two other... Wait, hold on. Ren likes Grace. That's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. Anyway. You like Grace? You like Grace? <laughs> Sebastian, you like Grace? Sebastian. Gene, Sarah, you like Grace? Sebastian caught yellow fever. <laughs> what? Sebastian caught yellow fever? <laughs> no. Anyway. You're rubbing off on everybody, Tyler. Got, I don't know, the yellow fever just... The yellow fever just... Don't worry. Uh, yeah, I, okay. dodged, I dodged it, don't worry. You dodged the fever. Yes, you did. <laughs> Viciously, I got the guy. The guy at Yellow Fever. You, uh, you swerved violently. Anyway, we won't get into that. You <laughs> swerved the Yellow Fever. Oh yeah. violently. Okay. <gasps> so Ren was hanging out with this separate group, like in real life, and I'm like, whoa, this is unheard of. How is he not on Skype playing Minecraft with all of us right now? Before Discord was though. Yeah, before di- dating this instantly. <laughs> um. It was it was weird and. So their group, the Asian Invasion, which of 1843 between, like, I, yeah, yeah. I don't anyway, we don't need. I don't think we need context, but 
that's a matter that's a bunch of nuts contact i'm like i want to be i want to be a part of this so i'll just say a funny story because you're still my you know my best bud yes so it's 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 a venture because it's mutual yeah i'm like i want to be part of it ren's like okay and i'm like what do i do it's just just show up <laughs> and they were at the yeah, mall okay that's literally it. i'll give story time they were at the mall one day and I was like, okay, I'm going to go. I texted Ren about it. And Ren's like, do you want to go? I was like, no, I don't think I will. And I went no, to the I'm mall. shoe shopping with my mom. Yeah. <laughs> so my mom wanted to go to the mall anyway. So I went and I just found them. Yeah, and I hung out. I'm like, no way. I was just here. That's crazy. <laughs> I and was just I, here. Was oh, I was there that day. I remember that. Know. No, you weren't. Me? This was like Sebastian. This was like eighth grade. Oh, I thought you were talking about like that one day that we went to. Like, you think Spencer's I just met Grace this year? Or no, last that's a year? separate. Oh, you're talking about that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was like my first official hangout with them, and you know, it just kind of sprouted beautifully from there. It was a beautiful, beautiful friendship, and we're here now, and many people have left, and last men standing. <laughs> yes. This is the skeleton crew, I would say, of what it once was, but... This is, uh, what, what, what lies was. after the band broke up. Yeah, this is, this is, this is the... Not to say we're any worse off. No, no. Or better off, I wouldn't say either of those. Just mutual separation. Wait, yeah. what else can we... I feel like it's about the same, because we added more people... Because we lost some. But we like, had a lot. Let's yeah, say. Yeah, there's a ton. If we kept everyone, that would be. Keeping up a big group is. Difficult. You know, honestly, it's either difficult or almost impossible. <sighs> because not each and every single person can be, you know, like, best buds with one another. It's just. I mean, that that's just. It's a test of whether or not everyone's willing to mingle with each and every single person, like, it's an assembly line. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I guess I can just hear myself more than you. But it, it's honestly impossible to have a group where the most I would say in a group to have everyone closely, closely, closely tight-knit is like four or five. The bigger they are, the bigger they the are, the harder they fall. Yeah. It's, a, Ooh, it's exactly that. Yeah. I, that's mm. that's what I think it is, you know. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's quality over quantity. Three's a crowd. Four's way too a lot of people. Five's Three's not a crowd. A lot of people. Three is the three Four is the four. Four four yeah. tears. Four four skateers. It uh, works. Skateers. The five skateers. The six skateers. The mouse skateers. I like that one. Anyway. Uh, what else can we see? Boy, man, I wear. What? No, John B. I have a better good shit on my brother. Yes, we. John B. It's not like I've ever seen a gutter before. I have an underwear. Get your head on my brother. Honestly, like this guy's TikTok. Yeah, yeah, TikTok famous. Uh, what what can I say? Sixty nine thousand on TikTok. You want to? You want to play? Basically seventy thousand. You want to play? Follow me, Sebastian. Well, by the Sebastian time this, for life. By the time this airs, Trump will already have banned TikTok, so that's a good. Yeah, I, I think it's very possible. I bought. I don't think it is. You know, India's there's already weird, done it. There's it's, some weird stuff. Okay, but that's mm-hmm. India. Like, I don't think there's no way that they'll the make up a will new. Allow. How much we they? Like, too. Okay, like TikTok is very invasive on your. It is very invasive. It's extremely invasive. Even after you uninstall it, it's still taking your information. I mean, really? Yes. Actually, I didn't... What kind of information So I looked myself up one day, or one of my friends did, and I didn't know these pictures of me on the internet, but they're all for my TikToks that I made. So I I have like thousands of TikToks TikToks I posted, and there's all these like random photos of me online. I'm very proud to say I've not downloaded TikTok yet. I did once, but I I think I deleted it. The only reason So it's kind of weird like how it chooses what pictures to take of you. It's basically <sighs> Facebook 2.0. I love TikTok. I don't make a lot of TikToks, so, though, thankfully. Imagine if I made a bunch of TikToks. That would be gross. So so you just make them on But I just do the dances. I don't like... Do We're just searching Sarah Losey. It's not gonna show I'm not even Sarah Losey on TikTok. Um, so you have TikTok. Oh, what's yeah, your TikTok? What's your app? Yeah. What's your app? I have, I have three drafts, and my name is not appropriate for this. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should I think we can just confidently well, conclude it now we didn't really talk about well we did talk about what makes it work and how they start I think that's a good this podcast was more of a uh, ramble to say the least but you know what? I'm okay with that ramble's fine 
introduction so, of just us coming in. I think we can confidently end it here. Um, thank you, Dean, Sebastian, and uh, Sarah. Yeah, for anytime. If catch you guys later. If the pub club want more of the Dean, just hit me up. He, yeah, he'll he'll probably be back whether or not comment you guys down. want it. <laughs> comment down below also, who's the best. Yeah, comment, <laughs> comment down below who's the best. Comment also, down in the comments, please ha- let me know. Who's also, hashtag Mr. Mullet, hashtag Mr. Rich, and Mr. Comment Mr. for Mr. Sebastian. Gang, Mr. Mr. cut your eyes tomorrow. This has been great. Ha- hashtag <laughs> Mullet Army. Hashtag out for you page. This is for you FYP. guys. And I'll even put a P right here for Pub Club. It's not Pub Club. It's pub closed. Pub closed. Pub closed. <laughs> okay, everyone. Thank you for listening. Yes. Tune you in next time. This guy's leaving for a month. Yeah, I'm Basically. going for three weeks to Idaho. Which means that these Idaho. two can join us back in again. Ooh, three weeks of only well, potatoes. Well, he doesn't have internet, so he'll probably have to meet this person. She can come back. Catch on. me on my story, Sebastian Poli, Instagram. Oh, watch my trip. Get my vlog life. <laughs> Alright, you guys can listen. We'll see you next time. Bye. Choose. Be real, guys. Stay safe. <laughs> Yo, that's why.